Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, what a wonderful blessing it is to be out here today in this beautiful, beautiful weather. And we just thank and we're grateful that each and every one of you thought it not robbery to come out this day to celebrate with us because we have achieved something that we've been fighting for for approximately uh, two years. But my name is Claudia Koger, and I am the Resident Association President for Astoria Houses, representing approximately 4,000 people. And that, as I stand here, it gives me honor just to be able to stand here to let you know that this connect over to 90th Street, from here to 90th Street is connecting us into a better uh, entry to Manhattan, and not only just to Manhattan, also to the Bronx. But uh, the most important part is that this connection takes us to the medical and the health uh, facilities, our uh, Mount Sinai Hospital and different ones that's connected with our business over here. And our people have to go around and about for our, an hour or so or more to get there. But now it only takes you four minutes to get across. And I just think, and, and I'm just grateful to uh, the Almighty God who's the head of my life. And I just thank and praise God that you all thought it not robbery to come here today together with us. And um, uh, we're looking forward to greater things, greater and better things on the peninsula where the community is on a rise and we must be a part of it. And that's why I stand here as your representative today and uh, making sure that we are being acknowledged. And with that, I'm not going to take any more of your time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce to some and present to others none other than the most gracious mayor of the city of New York. And I ask you to present him, welcome him in. Thank you. Claudia, thank you. Uh, I wanted to start with my thankfulness. I'm going to actually take this off because we're all distanced enough. I want to express my thankfulness to Claudia Kodra for everything that she does for this community. Let's thank her. She is a blessing for all of us. Thank you. So, Astoria Houses matters. This is not a forgotten community. This is a community that deserves opportunity and connection to everything the city has to offer and the whole larger Astoria neighborhood, which is so amazing, so vibrant, so much of what we love about New York City right here in this neighborhood. The idea of this ferry service was to create a connection that wasn't there before. And when we got together a few years ago with the first ferry service coming here, I remember you told me what a difference it was making in your life, Claudia, and for so many other people who spent so much time just getting to the subway, 15, 20 minutes just to get to the subway, to wait for the subway, to get on a train, to go into Manhattan, as opposed to getting on a ferry right here at your doorstep and being connected to the whole rest of the city. And then today, doing something that makes so much sense, connecting right across there. And I, you know, when I'm at Gracie Mansion, I can see here it's right across. It just feels like you can almost touch it. And I have to say, and I want to give credit where credit is due. To you, Claudia, the Resident Association, to the old Astoria Neighborhood Association, to so many other community leaders, community groups, to the elected officials. You know what they said? They said, hey guys, there's an obvious solution here. Just connect that way. Not just up and down, just go across. It's only a few minutes away. And it would open up a world of possibilities for everyone. People from Queens going to Manhattan, people from Manhattan coming to Queens. So guess what? Sometimes the voices of the people are heard. It took us a little while, but we realized, in fact, hey, that's pretty obvious. We can do this. And I want to thank everyone who is a part of this, everyone in the city government, economic development corporation, everyone at NYC Ferry, because people said, hey, we can fix this, and they did. Now, I'll finish with this point because it's so important to understand the history. The history that there was a ferry connection until 1936. And Robert Moses, who did some good things, but also did a lot of things that were very troubling and divisive in the city, he is the person who apparently gave the order to cancel that ferry service, take it away. Well, we're right in that wrong, 
most of 100 years later, we're righting that wrong and restoring that connection. And again, so many people worked hard. Um, you're going to hear from Congresswoman Maloney, who fights so hard on so many fronts. And I want to give her a special thank, because not only is she fighting for this community, she is leading the charge nationally to protect something that matters to all of us, the Postal Service. Let's thank her for that. But the bottom line is, we now are just closing this gap, making it work, bringing you just in a few minutes to where so many other opportunities exist. And is it important to people? Here's how we know. The service started Saturday this weekend. 3,300 people used the service in the first weekend of its existence. So we know as more and more people hear about it, learn about it, more and more people will be a part of it. They said in the movie once, if you build it, they will come. I have no question people will come in droves to take advantage of this new opportunity to be connected to all of this great city. And with that, with great thanks to everyone at EDC who turns these visions into reality, my honor to, to bring to you the executive director of the Ferry Division of our City Economic Development Corporation, James Wong. Thank you, James. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, <clears throat> First, I'd like to reiterate my thanks and congratulations to Ms. Claudia Koger of the Astoria Houses Tenants Association, Richard Kuzami of the Old Astoria Neighborhood Association, and Bishop Taylor of Urban Unbound. Also, I thank Queen CB1, Manhattan CB8, Council Members Constantinides and Kalos, and all others who advocated tirelessly to, for this great new connection. And of course, thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your leadership and commitment to NYC Ferry throughout its existence and for being here to celebrate with us today. I also want to give a big shout out to the ferry team at EDC. We have transit planners, we have maritime folks, a construction team, our many colleagues behind the scenes who are working with uh, on the ground with communities to drive our day to day work with NYC Ferry and things that we are doing every single day. Whether it's a new link like this or a whole new route like our planned expansions, EDCers have been at the forefront to make it happen. We're excited to have extended the Astoria route to serve Upper Manhattan, a new link that, as the mayor mentioned, will take just four minutes. Um, and it adds a new connection, keeps the same travel time for our existing riders, and it comes at no new cost to the city. It's cost neutral, which is a real win-win for us. Our goal for NYC Ferry remains the same. We are, focused <clears throat> we are focused on providing transit options and connections in waterfront neighborhoods where the subway is far and the bus rides are long. And when the water's geography allows us to really solve a gap in the transit system, it can be a real game changer. And the Astoria East 90th connection does just that. These quick crossings from Brooklyn and Queens to Manhattan are some of the most highly utilized segments. And now we are making over 400 of them a day. As the mayor mentioned, uh, this has been a very popular connection in its very, just in its first week, and we are seeing our ridership come back from the very low levels we saw throughout COVID, and in fact, nearly half of our ridership is back with masks, um, and we're happy to welcome everyone on board. And we're not done either. We're equally as excited to be working hard on expanding to Soundview, the Soundview route to Throg's Neck and launching service to Staten Island and Coney Island in next year. <clears throat> Residents of Coney Island will be able to get to Pier 11 in less than 40 minutes, a time that was previously thought impossible. And so we're so pleased to continue to grow NYC Ferry as New York is coming back. And with that, I'd like to bring up Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, who I know is gonna be excited uh, to have a new connection bringing her district closer together. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here with Mrs. Cougar, one of the outstanding community leaders in our great city, and to join the neighborhood in thanking Mayor de Blasio and his team for this wonderful addition uh, to Astoria, Queens. It's really, really great. We're going to all benefit from it. I also want to thank the mayor. Mrs. Cougar told me one day that she needed help with the senior center because they had cut the funding for the program and the meals, and the mayor 
mayor reinstated that too. So I want to publicly thank him for responding uh, to your request through Mrs. Cougar for better services here in Astoria Houses. And of course, uh, New York has a lot of the, we're best in a lot of things. I think our, our Economic Development Council is one of the best in the country. It does a terrific job, a, a creative job, including this ferry service and New York City Ferry. And of course, Richard Kuzami, who is our resident historian, head of Astoria uh, uh, Neighborhood Association and a great asset. I got to say, we were here just a year ago and we had a barbecue and a press conference saying, hey, we've got the pier here. We've got the pier on East 90th Street. It's only a thousand feet. That's all it is. You could build a small bridge pretty easily, but it's much more fun to go by ferry. And we were joining all of you and pushing for this ferry service. So I'm thrilled to be here and, and to celebrate it. Since I have traveled it and studied why it was needed, from that neighborhood on East 91st Street here is absolutely one hour and a half. You have to get on a, a bus, you have to get on a, uh, you know, a train, you've got to come and change buses over here. It, it's an hour and a half. So this is a great addition uh, to New York, particularly to this neighborhood and the east side. It'll connect us even more in a great city. I'm just thrilled to be here to celebrate with my city council member who has been a great supporter of this, Ben Kalos, as well as so many others. And. Uh, it's just, isn't it great to have something to celebrate on the waterfront that's beautiful? Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, next up, we have Richard Kuzami, who's been a tireless advocate for this route. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been uh, a long journey, very long journey, long but journey you know, short yeah, but you know, it did take those. Uh, short steps that we took in the beginning to make this happen. Uh, this is an extremely important chapter in the revitalization of Old Astoria. Uh, this is the cradle of Western Queens. And we suffered for many years as a victim of redlining, which did not allow investment for growth and development in our neighborhood. It turned us into a transit, food, a services, and edu uh, educational desert, but we've made great strides. This is part of that stride. We look forward to continued improvements in our uh, quality of life. As an example, uh, one of New York City's finest parks, Astoria Park, designated an anchor park by our mayor, is now undergoing a $30 million renovation. And this is part of the growth of our neighborhood that we're so appreciative of. So thank you. Thank you. Good, good. And um, Queens, uh, we're extremely diverse in Queens. This ferry is universal. It doesn't specifically go to any particular neighborhood, any group of people. It improves everybody's life. This is an example when uh, rising waters does help everybody, literally, okay? So, thousands of community members advocated for this direct service, Eastside service, since 2018 through petitions, surveys, neighborhood meetings, direct interaction with the EDC and Hornblower, and social media. And we were able to get our message across, and we really appreciate that. This is all done in partnership with the Astoria Houses Residents Association, Claudia, who I've loved to work with all these years. Urban Upbound, plus institutions like the Socrates Sculpture Park, Noguchi Museum, our Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, our Councilman Costa Constantinides, and our Community Board. Both communities, Western Queens and the Upper East Side, will be able to benefit from this exchange of talent and opportunity, increasing opportunities in jobs, housing, cultural, recreational activities, health care, retail, and education. This is a low-density mode of transit at a time when New Yorkers are concerned about getting to work, school, and uh, medical appointments safely. So we are providing that opportunity. And tying our neighborhoods and boroughs together only strengthens New York uh, and, and, as a whole. So in, on behalf of OANA, the Old Astoria Neighborhood Association, and all the other advocate groups who fought so hard, we want to thank Mayor Bill de Blasio and the EDC for listening to the needs of New York citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Terrific. And finally, I'd like to welcome Councilmember Kalos, who has also been a strong advocate for this and many parts of NYC Ferry. <laughs> Across the pond. 
I want to start with a big thank you to Mayor Bill de Blasio, the Economic Development Corporation led by James Paget, NYC Ferry, and uh, my Congress members, the city's Congress member, America's Congress member, Carolyn Maloney. And uh, this this kind of idea doesn't come from nowhere. And uh, a while back, she planted the initial seeds with $1.4 million that she secured to get this started. But actions speak louder than word, words, and this team delivers. And they, this team, particularly led by a Congress member, Carol Maloney, will save our postal service. Now, I want to thank my uh, BFF in the city council and in life, Costa Constantinides. Our districts actually touch in the water over there. Roosevelt Island is where my district starts. But uh, we were never able to physically uh, get from one district to another without having to go through another district. Now we can because of this ferry service. And I look forward to spending more time with our two families together. And that is a story for New York. And last time. I was here uh, for the opening. I think it was a 6 a.m. ferry ride that I took with the Congress member. And uh, from the Upper East Side, it was two trains, a bus, and a long walk. And an hour later, I made it here to take the ferry back. And uh, today, once I got on the ferry, it took me exactly two minutes to get here. It is only this team, Mayor de Blasio and this team, that can improve somebody's commute by 30 times. I've just never seen that before. There is so much in this community from this public housing to Socrates Sculpture Park. Uh, and I'm gonna see a lot of families coming over uh, here for Socrates Sculpture Car Park. I know I will with my family, my young daughter. And please don't tell my father-in-law about the Costco right next door and the fact that he can get here on a two minute ferry because oh my gosh, it will make him happy. Uh, some folks think that I have a Greek last name, but uh, this is a part of the city where you can get the best Greek food. And I'm looking forward to seeing folks taking the ferry, having the partnerships with all the great places, not to mention the connection to healthcare and jobs. And so my big thing is we need more ferries, we need more connections, and we've got a boat to catch. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you so much to all of our speakers, to Mr. Mayor. Uh, we are actually going to go take a ride. Our vessel is coming in just a couple of minutes. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. And uh, please go ahead, get your tickets, and we'll head over to uh, Manhattan. Yes, indeed. <laughs>